Okay, boys and girls, before I get into the good news, I want to show you something with a precautionary note that if you're living in an RV or a van or a car, be careful because in the past week in the news, I hope this is coming in clear. Come on, baby, focus, focus. So I'm going to say in the town of Tofino, which is right there on the edge of the ocean, uh, I'm here in Nanaimo, a little ways away. And you, there you can see Vancouver, Seattle, the state of Washington, Montana. That is where it is. It's a little town in the middle of nowhere, 1,800 people. And this is what happened. Uh, Tofino News. Kids fight off a six suspected camper thieves in Tofino. So apparently two men tried to break into this camper van and they tried to steal the, the van. Uh, the kids fought them off and the cops ended up finding them. The two men were mid-30s, mid-20s and uh, it was a van that was parked by uh, the baseball fields in there and this just recently happened so uh, the kids were 12 years old and 14 years old and they were in the camper van and they fought them off and wow uh, yeah that's that's a scary thing um, I'm always very cautious of where I park and again somebody uh, veg and vibe mentioned to wear earplugs and I, I'm a little yeah I don't want to wear earplugs at night because just to be awareness of what's going on around you and this is the reason why uh, so yeah I always watch where I'm parked for sure um, so let's go from that news to good news good news is um, my human resource manager got a hold of the Langford store and yes they want to see me tomorrow so I've got to scramble tonight and get clothes ready and everything. I'm not prepared for an interview and I really don't know how this is going to go over. So that's a good thing. They're, uh, they really want to meet with me, I guess, and they're looking forward to uh, talking to me. Uh, I think it's going to go over well. Even one of the supervisors at work already congratulated me and I said, no, 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 hold on. I didn't do the interview, but it kind of sounds like... I, I I got a good shot at this. So yeah, this is perfect timing to get another contract job because my current contract ends a, in a week and a half. Um, that's without uh, them asking me to stay longer. They did ask me to stay longer, but I'm not sure the start date on my new contract. So we will see how this pans out tomorrow. Um, yeah, exciting, eh? For me, anyway. So I do have tomorrow off, and I will be able to wander around and check out the town of Langford tomorrow. So we'll try and videotape that. Um, I have Friday night off, which means I have Canada Day off, which is July the 1st here. It's our celebration, and who knows when I'll be able to upload these videos. I'm going to try and... I'm, I'm way behind. So I'm going to try and upload and get caught up as best as I can in the next while. So anyways, that's the news, boys and girls. Until tomorrow. Okay, well, I just completed the interview in Victoria, I guess, which is actually Langford. And man, it doesn't feel like I'm in a city. It feels like I'm somewhere tropical. Cause, Cause, this is just spectacular. Huh. Like, check this out. Um, there's Vancouver Island and Victoria is the only places with palm trees in Canada, as far as I'm aware of. Other Canadians might correct me. I'm not sure. And look at the bus. It's an old trolley look. Yeah, their buses here are so unique. That is pretty cool. Yeah, so I guess I'm in the city of 
technically Langford, which is on the edge of Goldstream, they call it too. And I've been here an hour and I'm in love. I, I want this job and I want to move here. Um, I drove around a bit and I scoped out a couple of really good uh, overnight sleeping spots. But if I get the job here, I'll be working overnight, so it'll be day sleeping spots. And uh, yeah, it, it's just really, really nice. Camera takes a bit to focus. And I stopped for a coffee here at Poncho's Coffee Shop. And I chatted with the guy, and just a friendly guy, and he's from the prairies too. And he understands why I'm here. He says he's had enough of the cold prairies. and. He will never leave here. He says this is paradise. I agree, it's paradise. And um, yeah, had a small chat, small things, and uh, he says he's hoping I'm come back and he's hoping I get work here. It is a bit noisy being rush hour, five o'clock, but you know what? The center of this city, they have this pretty little park here. 